Dress the client with an affected right arm. This skill is used for the patient with weakness or paralysis to one side of the body due to stroke, broken or fractured bones, or other injury and illness. If performed incorrectly, it can further increase patient injury and pain. You will have four to five minutes to complete this skill. You will need two shirts, preferably different colors and styles, and a privacy blanket. Good morning, Mrs. Johnson. I'm Nicole. I'm going to be your caregiver today. We're just going to get you out of your gown and put you on a nice clean shirt. Is that okay? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bring your bed up to waist level. Protect my back again. You always want to bring your work station up to you. And also, I'm going to raise the head of your bed up just to make it a little bit easier as we undress and dress you. So this skill is dressing a patient with an affected right arm. So we want to make sure that you pay very close attention to this arm. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead around the other side of your bed and give you a little bit of privacy. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands and get your, your clothes and I'll be right back. So we wash hands, simulated for state, bring our supplies in, never put anything against your body. To worry about cross contamination, so you bring it in away from you. Okay, Mrs. Johnson, which shirt would you like to wear? The black one or the orange one? The orange one? Great choice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring the shirt down to the waist. I mean, I'm sorry, the, the um, sheet down to the waist. Just really quick exposure. We don't want to prolong expose. So sheet goes down, the blanket goes on. This just keeps the patient warm and keeps them covered to maintain the dignity while we undress them. You don't want to shake, you just want to open it up and place it there. Okay, so now we have an affected right arm, which means that we need to undress the strong side first. So we're going to walk around to the other side of the bed and we're going to undress the left arm. Careful of your privacy screen. Okay, Mrs. Johnson, I'm just going to untie the, the gown back here. I'm gonna have you pull your arm up for me. Thank you, make sure you keep your patient covered. Maintaining their dignity and their warmth at all times. Just kind of roll the gown over on the other side of the body a little bit so it's there when you get there. And keep in mind your patient is not dressed. You wanna keep them covered and warm. So I'm gonna come back around. And then when we undress the weak side, we need to support the elbow, okay? So go ahead and pull that out. You want to cradle it a little bit so the elbow sits in your, in your hand and then the wrist sits on your forearm. You want to go ahead and take this arm out and keep the patient covered while you do this so your hand is doing many things. Keeping them dressed, pulling the gown out. Okay, then once you get that down, still supporting that arm, go ahead and place the arm down on the bed, cover them back up and pull the gown out. You want to gently take the gown out you want to roll it up into a ball once you get it out. You don't want to irritate the patient's skin. So we roll that into a ball. Never let it hang the way it doesn't touch you or the patient. Put some dirty laundry. Now we're going to dress the patient with the shirt that he chose, which was the orange one. So we dress the weak side. And you want to make sure that you support that elbow again. So we're going to expose that arm only. Once you get the hand into the sleeve, you immediately take your arm up and you cradle that elbow one more time. So you cradle the elbow without letting the shirt touch the floor. And once you get the shirt around, go ahead and place the arm back down gently. Okay, Mrs. Johnson, I'm gonna have you lean forward. So assist your patient to lean forward, making sure that the blanket never comes down. You can bring that around, this arm. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and lay you back down. The shirt on the outside of the blanket. I'm gonna walk around again on the other side of the bed and get that arm in. Okay, so this arm is actually not a weak arm, so the patient can actually help you. Put their arm through here. A little bit more difficult with the mannequin because they don't really follow instructions, but if it was a real person, they could help you. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and bring the shirt around. For state, you can just button two buttons 
In real life, of course, you button all the buttons to keep your patient covered. I don't want you to waste all of your time buttoning this shirt up. So just because we don't want the patient to lay on wrinkles, we want to go ahead and sit your patient up for a little bit and make sure that there's no wrinkles in the back. Go ahead and fix the collar. Okay. And once we get the patient buttoned up, we can go ahead and reach under the shirt and pull the blanket down. Maintain the coverage. Just bring it out gently. easier on a real person, but that's okay. We will manage. Okay, let me go ahead and bring the blanket up. Cover the patient up all the way. Roll the blanket into a ball so nothing is hanging. We put this in the dirty laundry. Okay, so that's all done. We got y'all dressed up, Mrs. Johnson. I'm going to give you a call light. And so since this patient has an affected or weak right arm, we want to make sure that the call light is on the opposite side in the strong arm. You don't want to put it on the weak side. The patient won't be able to get in touch with you. So take it around, put it under the pillow so it's not going, you don't want it to go across their neck. You want it to go under the pillow. Then down the blanket and the patient can grab hold to it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put your bed back down into the lowest position. For the patient's safety. Would you like the head of your bed up or down? down just a little bit. Okay, let it go a little bit. Okay, how's that? That's great. So I'm going to go ahead and walk to the other side of your bed and remove the privacy sheets so you can see what's going on out there. And while you're here, just make sure the sheet is still nice and tidy on this side as well. Okay. Okay, Mrs. Johnson, we're all finished. Is there anything I can do for you before I leave? Okay, great, you have a great day. I'm gonna go ahead and take your extra shirt and put it back in your drawer. So we wash, put the shirt back, you wash hands, document procedure, the skill is complete.